music with other instruments is good, but music with the drums is even better. Mm. Now, a town is much livelier against the backdrop of drums. On this episode of Goge Africa, we move to the drum beats of Abeokuta, the capital city of Ogun State. A city where the people are not only welcoming, but also home to the tallest drums in the world. Exactly, in the world indeed. So welcome to Abiokuta, the home of African drums. Where hundreds of drummers from around the world gather to celebrate the drums. So let the drums roll. <laughs> Thousands of Ogun State residents and Nigerians, as well as visitors from around Africa, the Caribbean and the Americas, stormed Abeokuta for the third African Drum Festival, which began with a riveting welcome ceremony on April 19th and ended on an even higher note on April 21st at the June 12th Cultural Center. The festival is aimed at preserving the drum culture of Ogun State as well as showcasing the talent embedded in the state and its tourism offerings, said officials including Ogun State Governor, Senator Ibekunlea Musu, C-O-N-F-C-A. Let it be told that the African Drum Festival has not only come to take in our dear state, but it will be repeated to the next generation and the big generation set of God as a way of advancing the uniqueness and custom, tradition, and cultural heritage. So let the drum be in the 2018 African Drum Festival. Thank you, God bless all of you. There was no shortage of drum beats to keep feet tapping. Hips moving. And heads bopping during the highly acclaimed festival. Ogun 
Nightly, dancers and drummers took to the stage, showcasing their drumming prowess on drums of different shapes, sizes and varying cultural significance. My second time at the African Drum Festival. Um, I had a wonderful time last year. I'm having an even better time this year. Uh, there are more sponsors, it's more active, it's more vibrant, and it just keeps getting better. It's been a positive experience. Everybody is very friendly and welcoming. And, uh, Abiyakuta has given us a very warm reception. It has been very interesting so far just watching all the different types of drums and the sounds the different types of drums make. It has been very interesting so far. It's a good experience because so many things through culture has been happening of which I've not been experiencing before. But since you've started this drum festival, it's been a great privilege and a great knowledge for me. Well, we love this drum festival and we thank the government of Obu State that is really do wonderful. 
to make this drum festival happen once in a year. A lot of drumming from Asian states, from outside, outside Nigeria, came to enjoy their self-existing. We really thank the governor for giving us the opportunity to perform in this uh, drum festival. Also prominent were intricately designed cultural attires from the north, east, southwest, middle belt regions of Nigeria and neighboring countries. We are all gathered here because we want to feel the uniqueness of the African culture. Like we came here, we came in yesterday. We have different groups, troops from different parts of the continent, from Ivory Coast, from Ghana, from different parts of the Nigeria. We saw Gombe, we saw Benue, we saw Imo. They did their thing, they performed, and it was awesome, it was credible. And we also saw people from the Francophonist Company that were boundaries that share boundaries with the urban state, they all came here. My name is Tandy Swartboy, all the way from South Africa in Cape Town, from the township called Kukuletu. This is my first time to be uh, in, a, in a place like this. As a creative worker, I've been to so many countries, and I started a, a women's marima band called Women Unite, but I've never seen anything like this. And then like the way they're showing out, everybody's got the costume of the different countries, different cultures wearing their different costumes, playing those drums, and then I like the way everything is arranged here, the stages, uh, drums. It's like I'm in another world. Besides being in Nigeria, I'm in the, in, in the world of, of, of rhythm. Thousands of attendees were also treated to local folk music and given an opportunity to partake in the singing. <laughs> The vibrant and energetic crowd was as vibrant as the drum culture in the state, a culture praised by several dignitaries. Today we are all gathered here to witness the third edition of the African Drum Festival, which started three years ago. And this, this year's edition is much bigger and is going to be a memorable event. If we look back, Nigeria has its culture, its heritage and tradition, and it cannot be compared with any, any state any, or any other country. For instance, in Ogo State, drum is very important. The drum is very important to us. 
drum connotes so many things. It can be used for entertainment. It can be used when uh, you are installing a new king or whatever purpose you want it to be. When we want to talk about drums or drums generally, there's no drum that you should try that will not cause awareness. So, so it can draw people together, it can cause unity, peace, and uh, even help our economy. On the second day, the festival took on an intellectual tone, giving participants an opportunity to hear from well-researched speakers who discussed the importance of drums in African culture and the need to preserve same. There was also emphasis on the place of drums in socio-economic growth of Africa. At the end of the session, which included an exhibition of several contributors to the culture and history of music of not only Ogun State, but Nigeria, the spotlight turned to the natural phenomenon, Ulumo Rock. Governor Amosun led Chafu hikers up the rock, which was lined with drummers from different parts of Nigeria, Africa, and some from the diaspora, Trinidad, Jamaica, and Haiti. Earlier in the festival, all participating drummers paraded the stage. There was no doubt, the sounds of the drums echoed throughout the city, heralding a new phase of growth for Abekwita's drum culture. Boy from South Africa, and you are watching Go Gay Africa.
On Travel Tapes, we bring you ways you can save on summer vacations. 1. Set a budget. The best way to save money on any vacation is to set a budget beforehand and actually stick to it. That means committing to spending no more than a particular amount that seems appropriate. Avoid peak travel times. You can actually save several hundreds of dollars off your vacation by avoiding processing documents or booking during peak time holiday weekends or better yet, weekends in general. Redeem credit card points for free flights and hotels. While it always feels good to be able to pay for vacation with cash, it feels even better to get parts of it recovered for free. If you use a reward credit card throughout the year, you could easily earn enough points to cover the cost of flights or hotels for your next trip. Consider some of the alternative accommodation options available to you. If you are traveling solo, you could consider staying at a hotel or renting out a room in a home. Make trade-offs If you really want to save on your summer vacation this year, consider the different kinds of trade-offs you can make. Instead of dining out for every meal, make breakfast in your room, take snacks with you for lunch, and only go out for dinner. And until same time next week when we do come your way again, Travel Tip was brought to you in partnership with Goge Africa Travel Club. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. The dancers, the music, and more importantly, the drums. Abeokuta is rich in music and history. And no debating it, the African Drum Festival is here to stay. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of today's episode of Google Africa. Yeah. And until same time next week, let the drum of success roll in your life.